Hello everyone, thanks again for joining me for this week's Soulmate Oracle reading. Um, well, we're getting close to that time of the year um, when there is new changes, March 20th, spring equinox. I am excited. I know a lot of us, including myself, is not experiencing that beautiful weather change like some of you already been experiencing. Um, I'm in Ohio, so we still have some snow, we still have some cold weather, but I'm excited. I'm not looking at it negatively, just more time for me to get ready. And that's the way I look at it. Um, but what it's all about is preparing for the rebirth and the new changes that are about to hit um, our environment. And now many of you are going through the autumn equinox and that's okay because that again is another change that's changing from the summer to the fall and you know with everything just going into hibernation it's almost the same effect but not exactly so you can still use what I'm talking about here as the changes um, rebirth um, things going into hibernation things are starting to waken up I mean it all has like a like an effect in some type of way in your life so you may relate to it in many ways and basically these readings are not necessarily our readings that are geared upon one specific type of um, reading topic. I try to look at all areas. So in everybody's life, we don't just go through the love relationship um, situation. So I try to cover all bases. So these, re these readings are general readings, but I focus more in the love aspect. And what I mean by that is that we have love relationships or we may be searching for a love relationship, but whatever we're looking for, we have to do it in the name of love from our hearts. And sometimes things don't happen the way they do and sometimes they tend to go into a different opposite directions than what we expect and that's okay. You have to use whatever messages that you're going to be getting from either my reading or other readings or just the signs that you see because you know what? It all comes down to one thing. You are being led and you need to follow what your angels, your guides, the messages from the divine that are given to you, you need to take them with you. Now, this reading may resonate with you, and I hope it does. And if it doesn't, that's okay. You know what? You can um, just come back to it later on. Maybe it might resonate with you later. Or you may know someone that it pertains something to what they're going through. Um, feel free to forward it to them and, and so that they can get the message. That's how this energy exchange works. And I do want to help you in the best way I can with my readings, with um, just these videos. And, and on all my blog articles, I try to focus in on everybody that is going through something or may be going through something or just something to watch out for. Everybody is united. We are all the same. We all um, reflect the same energy and we give it to one another. So let's look on the positivity when we um, embrace the day. I always like to start with positive affirmations and some of you who know me on social media sites um, like Instagram and Facebook, um, I'm always posting and I try my best to get the best types of motivational quotes and, and I do pull one card out so that I can give you all a little bit of a, like a mini general reading for the day and I try to do it as, as often as I can but sometimes my day gets a little hectic that I'm not able to so please bear with me with everything that's going on. You know, there's a lot of energy exchanging right now with what everybody is doing today. Um, I hope that you get something out of this, okay? Now also, another announcement, Mercury retrograde, which starts um, on March 23rd. Now, a lot of you dread that, you know, time when Mercury retrograde because things go a little haywire -y And, you know, I have to say, I do too cringe a little bit when I see it coming. But you know what? I try to embrace it in a way where, okay, I'm going to get some things done because if we look at it as, oh, this is going to go wrong. My life is going to go wrong. This is going to happen and I can't make a decision. You know, it's like you're, you're actually putting negative energy on yourself. So don't look at it that way. Instead, look at it as, I'm going to take this day and I'm just going to embrace it. And this reading is focusing on divine soulmates. And that includes all the soul categories of soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, twin um, souls, and there's even the past life connections. We can go into that as well. So just really focus on the reading. Let it resonate. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. Just try to be open to this reading. Okay, so I just got a new deck. My husband just... Um, gave them to me as a gift and they're beautiful. I love unicorns, he knows I love unicorns and they're to call the Oracle of the Unicorns and they're just so beautiful. They're gorgeous. It's every card I just fall in love with, they're just gorgeous. Okay, so let's go on with the reading. The first card, okay, intuition. This is beautiful. I mean, I just love to gaze into them. They're just so magical and 
this woman is just embracing what's in front of her she's feeling something beautiful roses and the card on the bottom it says listen to the whispers of your heart use divination tools to help you decide trust your intuition no matter what okay now as you can see she's trying to focus in on something she's really looking at her life and trying to make a decision trying to find something in her life that is meaningful maybe you're feeling something that is not going in the right direction that you've been you've been searching for and you've been trying to find a better place for yourself but it seems like nothing is coming through it seems like you can't think it seems like you can't you can't listen to the whispers of your heart basically like just like the card is saying now it's basically that you're not focusing and tuning in to what the inner guidance is giving you there is something that you're not allowing yourself to breathe and so in a in a sense when you're not allowing your energy to just flow through and accept the inner guidance that it's showing you you're feeling like you're trapped you're feeling like you can't get anything kind of like when a person is um, a writer and a writer cannot get like their book going because they have writer's block and this is where they need to search for something to motivate them to inspire them well that goes the same thing with the intuition the intuition is the answer is there but you're not looking at it your relationship may be going through a feeling of turmoil but it's actually not going through turmoil your situation is actually changing and and you need to evolve with this change this change may not seem like what you want don't blame that person this is a change that has to go on and you're realizing something about what you're going through maybe she's not feeling like herself maybe she's got to um, start changing something in her life and maybe she's taking a step back and that's okay or he is whatever the case is if their situation in their life they're trying to make it better stress is not going to help yourself you need to focus in on the true wisdom the guidance that you have deep inside your soul because you know deep down from within the higher the higher divine is giving you these messages but you may not be paying attention to them because you're too wrapped up on what is in front of you and sometimes we tend to look into ego ego is going to stop us dead in our tracks like I've always said before and when it does this to us we end up not getting the full message so it's time for you to stop looking at what's on the surface and start looking at what's truly within I mean it could be a lot of things whatever that is it's just that this is a direct message for almost everybody um, especially now with coming with spring and mercury retrograde and all the energy shifts that are that are taking place we want to make the best of our life for the for the new for the summer for the for the winter for the spring for the fall it is all about the changes that are coming through in our environment because when those environment changes happen they, they affect our lives and our energy shifts go into many different directions and if we don't find ourselves we don't we actually are not in a in a, a alignment and when you're not in alignment you're constantly searching okay so take it slow and and just listen and follow what your intuition says just take it down a notch let them relax let yourself relax you both just just need to chill well then that's what you need to do okay so let's go to the next card oh beautiful I love this card I think this is one of my favorite cards I don't know it's just something about this beautiful unicorn you can just look at it and there's even a a little uh, fairy on the side of this beautiful unicorn you can see all the little stars and as it, as it says here magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you she's beautiful or he's beautiful okay now what I get from this card I get a lot the message from this card is you need to believe in yourself and you need to focus on yourself you need to stop looking at that part of you that is just constantly fighting and saying I can't do this it's just I'm not ready and I can't move forward in my life and that's usually coming from the divine feminine the divine feminine is saying she's not ready she's not going to do this anymore she's tired but though something is kicking up inside of her telling her that there's magic to start to flow through there is a new beginning there is changes 
that are up ahead. But if divine feminine is not ready for it, then how is the divine masculine going to come through? How are we going to align both divine masculine and divine feminine? Now, we've been talking about the divine masculine and feminine coming together, starting to fight through. But for some reason, this week has been a little bit different. And I don't, I don't, I'm not blaming it on Mercury retrograde shadow phase that started um, just recently. But it has a lot to do with the influences. And sometimes we get scared to take that step. We get scared to find ourselves in a new beginning and we just are not ready for it. So we're actually just going to put a lot of negative in front of us before we even start. This is a time to believe in magic. Make that wish. Believe in miracles because that magic is right there. That magic has not left you. That magic is not just regular magic. I, you know, like I've always said, magic is a miracle. It's, it's, it's something that is, is divine. And you can't create it, but it lives inside of you. So that's why you have to, well, you have to try to look at yourself and really believe in yourself. That's what the general rule is. I mean, if you're not looking at yourself, you know, I highly recommend that you start. And this card is saying, you know, it's a time for us to start opening that new door and showering ourselves with love. There could be a relationship that you've been struggling with. And this relationship, he's not seeing you for who you are. And he doesn't, he ignores you. He doesn't even understand you. Maybe he is ignoring you to the point where you haven't communicated for several months or days or weeks or years. I don't know. But whatever the case is, you have to believe in what your heart is telling you. Others could be saying, no, this relationship is not for you. You should not look into this relationship. You should walk away. And those are, those are people that are, you know, caring about you and people that are are typically just our friends will look at the outside what we call the 3d the egotistical energy that they don't want to see you get hurt anymore and that's 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 beautiful that's wonderful you have great friends but when it comes down to what you believe in and what you know in your heart and you know something is going to happen you have to trust into what the intuition is telling you you have to believe in magic i'm not telling you to hang in there with your relationship. I am advising you to look inside yourself and look at the beauty because maybe this relationship isn't what you truly need. Maybe maybe your mind is telling you because you're, you're stuck on it that you have to be with this person, but though you really don't have the love like you did before, you really don't, but it's a, like a habit. You know, did you ever find yourself sometimes when you're like in a habit forming situation or kind of like, I thought this was supposed to be what I wanted and maybe you're living on what you felt five years ago and now it's not even there anymore there again you have to listen to your intuition because you are the best judge of it I can't tell you what to do nobody can tell you what to do the messages that are coming through are higher above that are giving you something to understand maybe you're not getting the message from th this reading specifically but maybe you just might start because when we get like a little um, sign something that comes randomly and we don't want to hear it. Sometimes our ego is saying, I'm not ready to hear it and I don't want to hear it because I just don't feel that that's right for me. But actually it is. Actually it is something for you to hear. So this is why I say pay attention to the other signs. I, I encourage you to pay attention to the signs that are being given to you because you'll be surprised that what may be something that was not truly there is actually there. Maybe you did not realize that that person had love for you, but you were always thinking negatively. So maybe it's not that person, maybe it's you. So really look at this um, openly. That's, that's the best way I can put it. Okay, so let's go to the next card. Hope. Oh, very beautiful. Beautiful artwork. Oh my gosh. The eyes look just so real. I don't know if you could see that. Let's try to zoom up on it. It's very hard. The lighting is not the best right now, I apologize. But we can still see the cards and the, and the colors are just, just as magical. As the card says, hope, stay positive. The worst is behind you, look up to the light. You can see a reflection of me. <laughs> okay, so like this card is telling you, you are the hope. You are the divine inside. You have this all within you. The hope that you have right now, 
you could be going through something right now, very, very negative. Maybe there's something that I can't, I can't relate to. Maybe I'm hitting something, but not completely, but you know what that is. And whatever your problem is or whatever your challenge is, you're hoping for the best. And whatever that hope that you're putting out there, you're, you're really hoping onto it and you're really, you're really grabbing onto that every ounce of feeling of hope just to feel secure. And that is wonderful. And I hope that this um, card is giving it to you because I feel it's telling you to stay positive and, and to be positive and to believe because without believing, without putting that beautiful love inside that you have and, and just embracing it and spreading it out to the world, you're never going to find that magic. The magic is here. But that relationship that you've been searching for, this could be another thing. Maybe you're looking at, you've been alone for a while, you've been single, and you could be dating and meeting different people, but nobody's significant, nobody that matches up to someone you may have met before, you've never met before. This is telling you never to give up, always hope, always dream. We go through challenges, and I'm sure you understand the life lessons that we all go through. There's like tests and trials, and it's always a situation. It's never ending. It, it really isn't because we go through these challenges in order to evolve spiritually, and we become more awake. Now, some of us are awake, and some of us are not there yet, or some of us are working on this, but whatever your situation is, I, I really feel you need to stay in tune with what your um, divine guidance gives you. Now, this reading may resonate with you and maybe this reading doesn't, but whatever it is, I hope that you can understand the messages as they're coming to me, giving to you, because I really feel as this is going out to someone out there, maybe more than one person, and I hope it does, to give them some type of hope and inspiration to carry on, to move forward, to feel love, to feel positive, because without feeling positive, it's a stormy, rainy day. I mean, let's face it, nobody likes the rain, nobody likes the storms, nobody likes when, you know, everything is just gray and dark. I mean, yeah, it's okay in the summertime when we need it for our plants and our flowers and our gardens for a day, sure, but not when it comes to the point where our life is this way. And when our life is this way, it becomes a, sometimes a big hurricane. I always say, sometimes we have a monstrous hurricane inside of us, tornado, twister, I mean, you name it, Tusami, that we don't know how to get out of it. And you know what? We do get out of it. This is why you have to fight a little harder. Look for the solution. Look for the answer. Don't give up. Maybe that person hasn't really shown you the love that they have, but they do have it. How about having a good discussion? Why not just talk about it if you are able to? If you can't, I understand, but it's time for you to just let go of that fear-based feelings of negativity and start living, start embracing and evolving. Okay, so let's go to the next card. Okay, action. Oh, she is beautiful, or he. I never know if these cards are male or female because they're just so beautiful. It's beautiful, majestic trees, and the light is just forming on this beautiful unicorn. Oh, she's gorgeous, or he. Okay, so I'm going to stop gazing at the card. <laughs> the card says here, action is a perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Okay, now I've been saying this before I even got to this card. So as you can see, this card is advising you that it is action that is going to get you there. I like to be even, sorry. Okay, action is going to get you there. Now is a perfect time. It's a wonderful time. It's the beginning of a new day, a new new season. Okay, yes, Mercury retrograde is right behind it. I know, I know. But it's a time to prepare. Let's say, okay, Mercury retrograde is not a good time to start a new job unless the job has been pending, okay? The job might have been pending and you've been waiting. And you know what? It finally has come through that maybe you have an offer, but maybe you're thinking maybe I shouldn't make that decision. Well, you've been waiting for this job. So Mercury retrograde brought it back to you. Okay. So that's where it's good for also a relationship. Now I see this all the time. I see divine partnerships, divine soulmates, twin flames, all come back together, usually during a retrograde. 
Okay, sometimes it's Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, but whatever the retrograde is, for some reason, whatever wasn't finished, something that had to come back, something that had to mend itself, usually happens during Mercury retrograde. And I'm not saying that, oh, this is a time to hope and, and this is like one of the few times that you're going to get back together and if you don't get back together, then it's not going to happen. No, this is a time to keep yourself open. Like I said, have the magic inside your heart. Make that wish. Put out those positive affirmations. Meditate. Get out there. Get out there with friends. I mean, I'm not saying to do, just get out. I mean, do things. Make things exciting for yourself. Be happy. Listen to your intuition. You may be saying, I'm not going to worry anymore. I am going to start empowering myself and be happy because spring is almost here or autumn. And I'm going to embrace the spring as it comes. The flowers are blossoming as they're blooming. I'm feeling that love. I'm feeling like something is growing, something is developing. And that's the way spring is all about. It's all about bringing up a new energy. That's why I keep talking about these energy shifts. We started with preparing at the beginning of the year, but now here we are, March, and we are prepared. We are ready. We are planning. We are putting those plans together. I hope you all are planning because it's been it's been it's been exciting. You know, I'm still doing my planner. Let's be mermaids. Okay, that's a new planner I got, by the way. And that's why I love to just start things. Starting and, and of course, finishing, because if you don't finish it, you can't go back, to, you can't go to a new project. You can't start a new project. I know for me anyways, when I start something, I like to finish it and then start something new. But the main focus here is, is that when Mercury retrograde happens, maybe some of us, we put things aside and that happens to, to a lot of us. And we say, I'm going to get to it, but you don't get to it. This is a time to get to it. This is a time to start getting out there and, and cleaning out your life, so to speak. Maybe there are some things that you have been working on yourself and you haven't really let go of a, of a grudge on someone. Maybe there is someone around you that you haven't really allowed the energy to feel love again. And maybe you're still holding on to it and it happens to all of us. Just start somewhere just so that you can feel the peace, so that you don't have no negativity, any animosity in your heart, so that you can embrace. Because remember something, when you do all of these things, you are actually attracting the love into your life. There is no way that you're going to feel love if you're having some type of hindrance inside of you. And that could be anything. That could be just holding on to a grudge, holding on to fears, anger. Ego can come into our life and it can change a lot. So I highly advise and encourage you all to just focus on what you want and embrace it. Embrace the love and take action for it because now is the perfect time to start. Whatever your situation is, now is a perfect time to take action and just focus on the love in your heart. Now, this is a time also not to do anything impulsively. Remember, Mercury retrograde, and that actually starts on the 22nd and ends on the 15th of April. So. Um, I hope you all are aware and just don't get like overly anxious when things just don't come through or uh, like your printer is going off or your phone is not acting the way it should act. Just be patient and keep working with it. I guarantee you it will work again. It just makes it a little chaotic, a little, little haywirey, but I always see I get it done anyway. So that's maybe, maybe a life lesson for me. I learned over the years that I can't just say, forget it, I'm just gonna keep working with it until I find a solution, and that's the way you should be, okay? So I hope you've all enjoyed this reading, and it resonated with you, because in many ways it resonated with me, and if you like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings, and um, the information is down below in the, um, in the description area, and there's also um, a few blogs that I have, a lot with many articles and information about soulmates and twin flames that can help you and answer some questions. Also, you may want to check out my other YouTube videos. I do have videos about divine partners, soulmates, and Q&As. Just take these videos, and like I said, use them for your highest good. Um, I really want to help you all and, and do as much as I can. I, I do plan on still doing the live videos. I'm working on it. I'm working on when I'm going to be doing it, but there is no time. And um, with my busy schedule and with keeping these readings going on, I hope that um, you are able to subscribe as well, because if you subscribe, you'll be able to get the videos um, as soon in your inbox as soon as they are released. Um, Lord willing, I will have a live reading coming up shortly. 
Okay. Also, I want to thank all of my subscribers and all of you who have given me the support and the likes, the posts, um, the comments, and everything else that you've done because it really does touch me and I'm, I get like tickled pink. I'm like super excited um, when I read your comments, when I, when I can sit down there. I just don't want to just read really quick. I want to really read so I can like embrace what you're telling me so I can engage with you. I want to talk to you all and I want to be there for you. So whatever I can do, I will do, and I hope that um, we can continue on with these readings, and I will continue as long as you are watching and um, supporting me like you are. So until next time, um, I hope you all have a wonderful um, spring equinox, and Mercury Retrograde is going to be great, and um, peace be with you all. God bless. Namaste.